tried everything I could to try to change myself. Um, everything from going out for all sorts of sports to dating lots of girls. Um, and then eventually maybe I fig figured that if I had sex with enough girls then I would somehow or other be able to change myself and not be gay anymore. Chris Camp did everything in his power to go from gay to straight so he'd be accepted by his friends, family, and church. When I was in high school, I got involved with the Christian Student Union. I was involved with Youth for Christ. Uh, I was involved with Campus Crusade for Christ and lots of different similar groups. Eventually, Chris ended up at Exodus International, the world's largest ex-gay organization. In my first semester of college, I fell in love with my best friend, and we ended up having sex together. And I felt devastated through the experience, uh, felt like I had let God down, and immediately got involved with a support group of folks through my church. They were trained as leaders through Exodus. It was kind of a 12-step program for uh, gay men and lesbians. Um, I had a sponsor in the group. Uh, we'd meet every week for a regular Bible study and prayer and meditation. Uh, and any time that I felt like I was being tempted or challenged, I was to call my sponsor and we were supposed to get together and talk it through. Chris soon realized at Exodus prayer meetings that no one was changing. When we pray together, everybody would want to hold your hands while they pray, and then somebody would like caress the back of your hand. It was a little too huggy huggy, and I felt like people were kind of deceiving themselves, thinking that they were leaving the lifestyle when in fact they'd never left. I felt like they really didn't want to change their orientation, that they were still homosexuals and their attitudes and the way they treated each other and responded to each other and they were constantly falling off the wagon as it were. When X Gay Ministries failed, Chris turned to expensive counseling for a cure. So I spent literally hundreds of hours in counseling through that process to try to change. In terms of expense, it was costing anywhere from like 50 bucks an hour to go through the, the the counseling process and I'd meet at least two times a week with a counselor so um, especially when you're considering the cost of uh, going to a private college plus and having to pay out of pocket for this it ended up being thousands of dollars that I spent on this. The only quote success stories were bisexuals. What I noticed was that uh, the ones who had in the group who had some degree of success at least from what you could see were primarily bisexual and they were attracted to both sexes. So they could basically turn off one side or not be involved in same sex behavior and only involved with opposite sex behavior. They use fear tactics and they use a lot of a lot of discussions about the fact that people have successfully changed in their life. I was one of those people for seven years and during that time period you could talk to me and I would be true believer right in line with all the things that they said and yet I realized that I wasn't even being honest with myself. The whole experience was quite harrowing and it brought me down to the place where I had to re-examine everything in my life and the meaning of everything in my life, especially my understanding of my relationship with God. After being involved with the ex gay movement for over seven years, I decided I was going to come out once and for all on January 1st of 1982. I would make sure that before I gave anybody an advice on the issue of whether or not to go into Exodus or other ex gay groups, that number one, they had the opportunity to, to witness and listen to positive role models, uh, men and women who were happy and accepting of themselves. Hurt by the ex gay ministries? Tell your story to truthwinsout.org. I want to urge you out there who are seeing this video right now to really consider the possibility that you would be, be willing to make a public stance about what you've found reality to be for you, what you found true spirituality to be about. Um, I know it's a real hard thing, 
but there are a lot of us out here that can give you the support and the strength that you need to be able to stand up and tell the truth. Because in the end, truth is going to win out. For more information on the X-Gay myth, visit truthwinsout.org.